Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, bringing you the obvious. And today we have a story about United Airlines. United Airlines goes woke. Here in a Twitter post you can see the following. Fly how you identify. <laughs> Our new non-binary gender options are now available. Genius! So as you can see, there's a picture here, and it says, Mr. <laughs> Mrs. Mix. I'm not exactly sure what that's supposed to mean, but, but there you go. Apparently that's their non-binary gender option, though I've never seen it in my entire life. Oh my god. Oh my god! It hit me like an epiphany. I know exactly how they came up with this. <laughs> <laughs> they got this from the gender neutral pronouns. Z, Zem, Zer, with an X. They must have done their research, their big brained research into the insanity of SJWs and saw, huh, you can make something gender neutral by adding nonsense. Z, Zem, Zer. That must mean if you add an X, that makes it gender neutral. And so it was. They came up with mix. Absolute genius. So if we click on the post, we can see their official website where they explain exactly what they're doing. Welcome aboard, Mix. United Airlines continues to lead in inclusivity by offering non-binary gender booking options. Chicago, March 22nd, 2019, PRN Newswire. United Airlines today announced it has become the first U.S. airline to offer non-binary gender options throughout all booking channels, in addition to providing the option to select the title. Mix. During booking and in Mileage Plus customer profile, customers now have the ability to identify themselves as M, male, F, female, U, undisclosed, or X, unspecified, corresponding with what is indicated on their passports or identification. Oh, so you still have to put your real gender, your real sex, whether you are male or female. And you know, if they were truly inclusive, they would also include my favorite option, female, male. But I guess they're just not woke enough. United is determined to lead the industry in LGBT inclusivity. What about G-H-I-L-M-N-O, Q+. I guess these people really have a long way to go. And we are so proud to be the first US airline to offer these inclusive booking options for our customers, said United Chief Customer Officer, Toby Inquivist. Why are you the way that you are? I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. United is excited to share with our customers whether they identify along the binary of male or female or not. And we are taking the steps to exhibit our care for them while also providing additional employee training to make us even more welcoming for all customers and employees. So I'm sure that they're doing this so that they can appear woke and uh, appeal to the progressive crowd and maybe get more customers because no company does something unless one, the people running the show are ideological, or two, they actually think this is going to get them more money. You've seen this recent trend, especially in recent years, it's become more and more obvious, where ideologically subverted college students who get some gender studies degree or some nonsense in college, they get out of school, they get hired by these companies, aka infiltrate, and then they push SJW nonsense, and they convince the board of directors and everyone else that this is a future, that everyone is woke, and if they become woke, they'll make a lot of money. Unfortunately for them, the study shows that the newer generations, especially the young folks, are actually just a bit more conservative, and surprise, surprise, a good majority of the population does not like this nonsense because they're not stupid. As part of implementing these new changes, United has worked with the Human Rights Campaign, the Trevor Project on Employee Training Initiatives. These initiatives include teaching employees about preferred pronouns and the persistence of gender norms. You mean science? That book you never read? These initiatives include teaching employees about preferred pronouns, LGBT, competency, in the workplace and other steps to make United an inclusive space for both customers and employees. At the Human Rights Campaign, we believe being acknowledged as the gender you identify with is part of treating everyone with dignity and respect, said Becky Bailey, Acting Director of Workplace 
equality program by providing non-binary gender selection for ticketing and gender inclusive honorific mix in user profiles united airlines is taking an important step forward for non-binary inclusion <laughs> so yeah as, as you can plainly see i don't think i need to read any more united airlines has gone insane that they actually think this is going to get them any more customers is hilarious how bad does the airline industry have to be for them to resort to such pathetic tactics every customer every flight every day yeah another cringy s <laughs> corporate slogan i don't think anyone is buying it literally so uh good luck with your sales now this is a really good opportunity to talk about the person who spread this nonsense about gender neutrality and uh gender is just a social construct because it's not it's a scientific construct it is an evolutionary construct it was constructed from biology. The man's name was John Money. So this is a guy that all of these SJWs, all of these left-wingers, all of these people who are delusional come to deny science, and this is who they cite when they defend gender neutrality and that gender is just a social construct. John William Money. He lived from 1921 to 2006. He was a psychiatrist, a sexologist, and an author, specializing in research into sexual identity and biology of gender. He was one of the first scientists to study the psychology of sexual fluidity not real science and how the societal constructs of gender affect an individual in short he did not believe that gender was real he thought it was a social construct and he and his life tried to prove his theories but do you know how that turned out folks well let's read recent academic studies have criticized money's work in many respects particularly in regards to his involvement with the sex reassignment of david reimer and his eventual suicide now, let me make this very clear. This is a guy who won many awards, many degrees, and many honors in his lifetime. He was hailed as some sort of genius, some pioneer, even though he was absolutely a hack scientist with false theories. Let's talk about David Reimer, his first and his biggest victim. During his professional life, Money was respected as an expert on sexual behavior, especially known for his views that gender was learned rather than innate. However, it was later revealed that his most famous case of David Reimer was fundamentally flawed. In 1966, a botched circumcision, which is child mutilation, by the way, and should be illegal, left eight-month-old Reimer without a penis. Money persuaded the baby's parents that sex reassignment surgery would be in Reimer's best interest because genders learn. It's just a social construct. We can raise this boy as a girl and everything will be fine. I want to prove my theories. At the age of 22 months, Reimer was basically castrated. His testicles were surgically removed. He was reassigned to be raised as female and given the name Brenda. I am not long for this world. Pussy. Brenda. Money further recommended hormone treatment. Oh, God. To which the parents agreed. Money then recommended a surgical procedure to create an artificial vagina, which the parents refused. Money published a number of papers reporting the reassignment as successful. So for years, this guy, he cited this study as proof of his theories, proof that he was right about gender and sex. However, on July 1st, 2002, Brian was found dead from an overdose of antidepressants. He suffered for years from severe depression, financial instability, and marital troubles. Basically, this guy realized he wasn't a woman. He knew it in his bones. He did not agree with Reimer. And I think they conveniently leave that part out of Wikipedia. They leave out that part where he rejects David Reimer. He rejects it. Reimer's parents have stated that Money's methodology was responsible for the death of both of their sons. And, and they do say sons. So even the parents reject the ideology. The boy himself rejected the ideology. Gender neutrality is not science. It is crack science. It is pseudoscience. It is bullshit. And it's killed people. It's dangerous. And that's not even getting to Money's opinion on other subjects. Uh, this guy was... Uh, truly woke. So what do some of the people on Twitter have to say? <laughs> I'm looking forward to reading the responses. Steph says, it's so bizarre. Fly with us. We will participate in your delusion. Strange times. T-Bone says the obvious. There are only two genders. 
Who cares 420 says? Even the most basic chart can describe how genders work. Having a penis, no woman. Having a penis, yes, man. However, uh, this is actually a bad analogy because what determines sex and gender is actually chromosomes. You know, the whole XY thing, XX. XY is male, XX is female. You cannot change those chromosomes. So even if you change your genitalia, you can't change your chromosomes. You can't change your sex. It's literally and scientifically impossible. So that's the rule of thumb. The mad lad Martin replies, I too identify as a Mexican website domain. Morgan says, this is so unnecessary. Stop shrinking the seats in space to only fit eight-year-olds. And to this, uh, surprisingly, United Airlines actually responds. They don't respond to any of the other arguments, of course. Morgan, our customer's comfort is important to us, and we appreciate your feedback. Yeah, thank you for the feedback. Feedback been complaining for years. You do nothing. <laughs> Oh man, Mark Dice, I swear he's a professional shit poster if I ever saw one. He says, I identify as a jar of peanut butter. My pronouns are skippy and smooth. Why aren't they on your list? And I think that's the perfect place to leave it. United Airlines has gotten woke, but you know what they say, go woke, go broke. I will not be using their air service anytime soon, but that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. Let me know what you think about this. I've got to say, this SJW nonsense is the gift that keeps on giving. It's interesting watching company after company fall to these lows. So sad. If you would like to contribute to the channel, you can do so on Patreon, Subscribestar, or through PayPal. This has been Mr. Obvious. Thank you for watching. See you all next time.